the breakup signal, the lead plane breaks to the left in a 45 degree bank, 180 degree turn, holding his altitude constant. After five seconds, at which time the leader will be a beam of the second plane's left wing, the second plane gives the lead to the third plane and also goes into a 45 degree bank, 180 degree turn, being sure to do. Five seconds later, when the second plane is a beam of the third plane's left wing, the third plane makes the same turn. The angle of bank may be varied during the last 30 degrees of turn in order to line up directly behind the leader. It is important that all planes maintain their altitude during the turn to ensure a proper interval in column. Once in column, all planes should use throttle to adjust their airspeed to 115 knots and the wingmen should adjust their altitude to that of the leader by placing him on the horizon. The leader maintains his new heading for 10 to 12 seconds, then begins a 180 degree turn to the left with 15 degrees of bank. When the leader bears 30 degrees off the second plane's port bow, the second plane makes a steep left turn, which he holds until the leader bears 45 degrees from him on his starboard bow. At the same time, positioning himself within the 225 to 255 degree relative bearing sector from the leader. He holds these respective bearings as he closes on the leader. When the third plane has the leader 45 degrees from his port bow, he too makes a steeply banked turn and closes on the leader in the same manner. Remember to keep all aircraft ahead of you in sight at all times. As the second plane closes on the leader, he pauses momentarily on the inside, then crosses under, moving into right echelon. The third plane does the same, waiting if necessary on the inside until he is assured that the second plane is moving into his position. You are third plane in a right echelon. The leader gives the CV breakup and rendezvous signal, passes the lead to his wingman, blows a kiss, and starts his 45 degree bank, 180 degree turn. After five seconds, when the lead plane is a beam of the second plane's left wing, he passes the lead, blows a kiss, and begins his 45 degree bank, 180 degree left turn. Five seconds later, you follow, making sure you maintain your altitude. Completing your turn, you will still be 10 feet step down. Throttle should be used at this point to adjust airspeed and altitude to the leader. The leader holds this heading for 10 to 12 seconds after completing his turn. Then starts a 15 degree bank, 180 degree turn to his left. When the leader bears 30 degrees off the second plane's bow, the second plane commences a steep left turn. When the leader is 45 degrees off your port bow, you make a steep left turn, holding it until the leader is almost 45 degrees off your starboard bow. And you are in a 225 to 255 degree relative bearing sector from the leader. At this point, reduce your angle of bank sufficiently to commence a smooth controlled rate of closure. Keep these bearings as you close on the leader. Don't wait until in position to cross under to take your step down. It should be taken as soon as you are close enough to recognize it. Remember, keep all planes ahead of you in sight at all times. After closing the leader, the second plane hesitates momentarily, then crosses under and behind the leader into his position in the right echelon. You follow the same procedure flying opposite your proper position for a brief moment on the inside of the turn and then crossing under to the right echelon. With practice, this maneuver can be done with constant power setting. But if at any time you find yourself falling back, add full throttle to catch up. If through misjudgment the second plane has fallen back, you wait on the inside opposite your wing position until he catches up. under as he is assuming his position. 